Hello, I'm Lydia Isak from Moldova and this is an interview for Join Us on Eurovision. First question, how does it feel to be chosen representing Moldova at the Eurovision Song Contest 2016 with your song Falling Stars? It feels great and I am proud to represent my country with this song. In the semi-final you got the most votes from the audience. Did you expect to win? I didn't expect to win, but I always hoped for that. What is the message of falling stars? It is about love that is as bright and unpredictable as falling stars. When you see a falling star, make a wish and it surely come true. This is what you should do when you listen to the song. Dream as big as you want. Can you tell us something about the beginning of your career? Yes, I started doing music since my childhood. When I was seven, I uh, began to study piano at the musical school, but I never thought about singing at all. At the age of 13, um, my French teacher noticed that I have a really deep, low voice uh, uh, for a little tiny girl that I, girl that I was. And uh, she asked me if I can sing and I say no. I don't sing and she suggested me to learn some songs um, by Edith Piaf and she was right because after I performed that songs on uh, school concerts all the teachers uh, were calling me a little Edith Piaf. <laughs> After that, I started to participate in a huge amount of competitions. My first international contest was when I was 13 in Bulgaria. Uh, it was called uh, Silver Yantra and I won their special prize of the audience. Last year, we met in Vienna where you've been with Sunstruck Project. Tell me something about your experience. That's right, uh, last year I was in Vienna reporting and doing video blogs for a Moldovan TV channel with Soundstroke Project. That was a great experience because I got the chance to see this contest from the inside and see how all the stuff is going on uh, from backstage. It was uh, really interesting for me to meet new people and also there I met one of the writers of the song Falling Stars. I guess it was a lucky moment for me. Do you think it's an advantage for you that you already have been in the contest even if it was not as artist? I think it's, it is an advantage. I'm feeling more ready now. What was your highlight in Vienna? Vienna is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. It has many, many beautiful places, but for me, I will never forget this lovely panda from the zoo. What are you expecting in Stockholm? In Stockholm, I want to make new relationship, share my music with the world and, of course, relate to Europe about my beautiful country, Moldova. Are you planning to make some changes on your performance or outfit? Yes, it would be totally different from what it was at the national selection. Will you promote Falling Stars at the Eurovision pre-parties in April? Yes, I'm looking forward to perform in Amsterdam, London, Moscow. I think it's a great opportunity to promote the song and meet the fans of Eurovision in real life. Are you a Eurovision fan? I watch Eurovision since 2005 when Moldova participated for the first time. Yes, I am a fan. Which are your favorite Eurovision songs and what is your favorite from Moldova entries? My all-time Eurovision favorite song is Euphoria by Lorin and uh, from the Moldova entries uh, my favorite is uh, the song of my friend, Sunstruck Project, the song Runaway and also Epic Sax Guy Forever. What are your plans for 2016 besides participating in Eurovision? We're planning to do a solo concert in uh, the main concert hall in Moldova. During the summer, we're planning to perform in um, different countries and uh, maybe relax a little bit. 
In September we're gonna release a new single. It's a duet with an Italian singer, Daniele Guastella. What was the most excited moment in your life? I think the most excited moment in my life is uh, was last year in Vienna when we together uh, lived that's this beautiful moment called your vision. If people outside Moldova never heard about you before, what should they know about you? They should know that I am really open and honest person and uh, I want to make this world better through my music. Why should Europe vote for your song for winning Eurovision? I think that I have a really beautiful song and uh, I hope that Europe will feel my energy and my love. Dear friends, let's celebrate music. Come together with Moldova. Join us on Eurovision.